my five things to do when you become a Florida resident. What is going on family? This is RJ Bautista, your favorite Filipino Central Florida Realtor with EXP Realty. Today in this video, I will talk about my five things to do when you become a Florida resident. Yes, you hear me. I will share with you my favorite things to do since I'm living here in Florida and what benefits that you can have when you become a Florida resident. But before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And the most important thing, you know that, smash that like button for me and share this video to all five family and friends especially for those people who's planning to move here in central florida and the most important thing or the last thing that i would like to say here i am filipino nagtatagalog po ako kung may mga question kayo inbox nyo lang po ako or text nyo ako pag reply po ako agad so without further ado let's jump into it the first thing that i would like to say here is like once you become a florida residence here you will have an access to disney spring okay what is disney spring first thing what you like to know disney spring is one of top destination of most tourist people who come here in Florida just to check out the Disney Spring. Why? Because it is free. Yes, you hear me. It's free. You don't have to pay anything to get into Disney Spring. Why? Because this is like kind of shopping center. At the same time, they have a lot of entertainment, especially on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I go there or me and my other significant go there when we want to chill and see some entertainment during the weekend, like Friday night, Saturday Saturday night or even Sunday night they have a lot of stuff going on and the good thing there is it's free this one is you don't have to pay anything however if you are going to Disney World by itself you have to pay for that one and this thing I would like to share with you as well like tip once you become a homeowner here or once you become a Florida residence here and you transfer your license to become a Florida license or Florida ID here in Florida you will have a discount if you want to get an annual pass to Disney World. For disclaimer, I don't work for any Disney. I'm a realtor here, but this is how it works here, okay? Make sure that if you move here and you want to buy a annual pass or something that the Disney offers, as if you are a Florida resident, make sure to claim that one so that you can save a lot of money if you want to visit Disney World. And this benefit is not for everybody. Some of them can have this as a Florida resident and also if you work for Disney World as well, you can get some Disney passes and you know free for for your friends your family to get into Disney or some of their theme parks which is really good all right so so if you come here to make sure to get those benefits because it's very very useful if, if you become a Florida residence here so my number two on my list is the Clearwater Beach okay what is Clearwater Beach I know if you haven't been here in Florida make sure to visit this Clearwater Beach this Clearwater Beach is one of the most destination again for the tourists who would like come here and and spend some time in the beach like this clear water I love to go here in clear water number one reason is just the outmost pier of this clear water is really nice however I just want to give you some tip if you're going there expect the crowded like there's no parking over there especially if you're gonna come like in the summer season or you know where the good weather is going to be expect that the parking will be packed if you are planning to go there make sure that you go with there like very very early like i would say like six o'clock in the morning if you can be there at six or seven there's a plenty of parking however if you're gonna be there like after 10 11 or 11 or even after lunch it will be struggle for you to find a parking you probably find a parking at, but you have to pay for it and you have to walk from the parking lot to the beach you know to go to the main beach and i love this clear water because of the sand the sand of clear water beach was really really nice it's really fine and soft that's why i love of this clear water beach and you don't find any stone like every single stone that you could find like in other beaches but here is very very smooth very nice very clean area that's why i love and prefer this clear water beach and also from where i'm located at here in davenport or polk county it will only take us from between an hour to an hour and a half to drive there so that's close that we can be to the clear water which is really really good and i prefer that one because number one is close to where i'm located at and also it's free as well apart from parking if you're gonna pay parking so that's my number two my number 
number three is the Kisame Old Town. Okay, what is Kisame Old Town now, RJ? Kisame Old Town, this is where you can get like a little mini theme park. I would say like mini Disney World. Okay, for disclaimer, as again, I don't work for any of this uh, location or anything of that I'm gonna say here. I'm a real estate agent. However, this is what I do here when I have like free time with my other significant and other family member who come here. I bring them all these spots so they will enjoy their stay here. So Kisame Old Town is like a mini theme park where you can go there for free. Okay, this is a free stuff so you don't have to pay for it. And also what you can do there is when you come to the Kisame Old Old Town is like the food truck, okay? They have like a big food truck over there. I think they open every night, especially like in the weekend night, like Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. They have a food truck there and some some of them are performing some stuff like they playing guitar, you know, they entertaining you, you know, and then you go to different food truck over there and then pick what food that you want to eat. Mostly the food that they are offer or they are selling there was the um, Spanish food food like um south american food it's different type of food that what you like to eat there's a lot of food truck that where you can choose from and it, they are very delicious i'm telling you it's nice and the price of the food that you're gonna pay for there is not too bad either because like they have a lot of option that you can choose from so they are competing to each other so you don't have to pay a lot on that food truck or the food that you're gonna buy and at the same time if you're gonna go there in the weekend you will get entertained as well so that's my number three so put that in your back at least so number four is the universal studio yes universal studio if you are adult like me who's watching this video okay or you have you are over 18 universal studio is the best thing to do for adult theme park i love to go there obviously you have to pay for something on universal studio because it's a theme park and it's adult theme park i'm not sure if you're gonna get discount if you're going to pay for annual pass you become a florida resident there here however you can check them out what offer they do especially like right now it's beginning of the year it's january 2024 so you can check it out what they offer sometimes they are giving this a lot of offer what you can have your if you are a florida resident and claim the offer and save some money so that you don't have pay every time you go there let's say every week you want to go there or every month or let's say you're going to go there once a month if you do have annual passes you can go there whenever you want what what date you want and you don't have to pay for it because you're going to pay for the whole year which is really good so that's my third bucket list if you are become a florida resident here however i just want to add here if you're going to go to universal studio they have their disney spring which i told you before where you can check out what they have which is like a little shopping center in there and they have like entertainment as well every weekend like friday saturday and sunday night which is really really good okay so check them out as well if you become a florida resident here or if you're just coming here to visit florida all right so my number four here is the margaritaville resort yes you heard me margaritaville resort is really nice i go there which is i am about 15 to 25 minutes away from that particular place this place is like a shopping center with a stage in front of you yes you hear me there's a stage in front of you i very recommend to go there as well in the weekend because they have a lot of stuff going on on the weekend like friday night saturday night and sunday night especially saturday night they have a particular Particular performer who perform in the main stage in Margaritaville Resort here in Kisame, which they do a lot of stuff. Sometimes they have like a salsa dance. Sometimes they have a lot of good performer there where you can have a drink and also you can chill out there and you know dance with the crowd. Whatever the music is going on there, you can do it. Which is like you don't have to pay for anything to get there because it's free to go there. And not just about that, they have that they have a lot of shopping center cinema spot where you can watch movie and also a lot of restaurant you can choose from where you can go and try different things over there all right there's a lot of things that you can do so that's my number four and my number five which is the last one is like the spring here in florida yes if you're gonna come here in florida and you become a florida resident even though if you're not a florida resident if you're a tourist you can check them out you can check out the 
Springs here in Florida, which is located in North Central Florida, like in Ocala, Florida. They have a lot of spring there. For example, the Tampon Spring. They are so good. It's so gorgeous spring. And I love the place over there because number one is free. You don't have to pay for that. I like free stuff. All right. And also the good thing there as well is not just about the free stuff. You can do a lot of things there. You can do barbecue, but some, some spring they don't allow them. Okay. So make sure to check out first if you can do barbecue for just for the safety reason. Okay. And also the good thing there, if you are a nature person, I'm sure you will love it there because there's a lot of nature that you can experience when you go there. And also a lot of stuff that you can do. You can walk, you can hike like a little mini hiking over there. You can do that one as well. And also obviously you can do a lot of swimming over there, but make sure to be careful. Okay. They might have a crocodile there, but you never know. They said, just be careful. And also, as you know, Florida here, there's a lot of alligator and also rattlesnake. If you're going to go over there, just make sure to stay safe. Okay. So that's my five reasons why you need to move here in Florida or become a Florida resident, even though not a Florida resident, just to become a tourist and see if Florida is for you. So this is the video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you stay in this video until this end, comment down below Florida. So I can see how many people who would like to visit Florida or not even visit Florida. How if you become if you want to become a Florida resident here. Until next time, I'll see you on my next video. I'm out for today. Peace. <laughs>